And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some spooky Ezreal. We're going to be playing some Ezreal for the first time since patch 114 where Ezreal has now been changed. So now it only takes Ezreal um, six targets to level up. It used to be 10. Of course, before that it was eight, but now it's six. So the less it's ever been. Uh, but now Ezreal only does one damage uh, for each spell that you cast unless it's a spell that's targeting an enemy, then it does the two damage. So it's doing a little bit less damage once it's leveled up, only doing one instead of two, but levels up super fast now. And so Ezreal's looking pretty strong with the new change with being able to level up so fast. Now, I will admit that uh, myself, I am not usually a very good Ezreal player. As far as all of the champions in the game, the one that I feel the most uncomfortable playing, if that, yeah, yeah, that's a good way to put it. The one I feel the most uncomfortable playing is Ezreal. I always feel like I don't really know exactly what I'm doing or, you know, stuff like that. Like, it's, you know, it's, it's just naturally, like, um, <laughs> I, I'm not sure if you realize it, but it's difficult to be able to play every single champion and every single type of deck like I do and play them all very well. There's usually going to be some that you're going to be better at, some that you're going to struggle with. It's just kind of a personal thing, right? Of just like how your play style is and just kind of how your mind works, I guess. And Ezreal is always, that's been the card that I've struggled with more uh, than others. So just kind of saying that. So hopefully hopefully the gameplay is still good and hopefully we do well. Um, but, you know, it, while you're watching at home, uh, you know, maybe you find some like different lines that would have been better than the lines that I take. Um, and stuff like that. But that's probably not dissimilar to any other video. We're going to be playing Ezreal with Shadow Isles to start with. This is going to be a donation deck. This is a viewer submitted deck of a, of a way to try to play spooky Ezreal. Um, and so we're going to be pairing Ezreal with Elise. Um, one big reason to play Shadow Isles, of course, is the new Go Hard KDA card. That's pretty awesome. But then Shadow Isles just has really good targets. Um, you know, Unspeakable Horror is another great one. Black Spear... This card is a one that just got uh, buffed up a little bit and now does four damage to a unit. Um, so that, that'll be fun to, to play that one and try that one out. And of course, you know, we have Vengeance, we have Grass the Undying, we got some great stuff. All right, Spooky Ezreal. We're gonna go play five games over in ranked and let's see how we do. All right, looks like we are playing a Shivana deck. So that's cool, we get to play some dragons. I'm excited to try out Dragon Mobilize again um i guess i'm just gonna keep all this um with the new shivana and see what that's like hey nightstorm yeah so i decided to keep gotcha basically you know i really like vengeance i really like ruination and we want to work towards basically my plan is to like work towards like turn six ruination and then have vengeance after that but of course, we're gonna have to do some things before turn, Come uh, before turn six. I don't fight. And I kind of felt like the the Mystic Shot Gotcha part of our deck could do a little work. Out from the dark. Yeah, I think it's a good attack. It's you know basically do we want to attack? Do we want to wait and you know like Mystic Shot this thing instead? Uh, but yeah, basically I thought like the Gotcha and Mystic Shot could kind of slow them down a little bit and set up my Ruination to be better. Good glimpse beyond. I am more than I seem. Kinda wanna just cast the glimpse beyond, to be honest. Yeah, we'll play I'm gonna play this uh gotcha here. Get some damage on it. I'm gonna try unspeakable horror. as well and then even if this like doesn't work unspeakable horror still replaces itself no remorse. man our ezreal is like almost leveled up and we haven't even the done anything rage claws to get out all right they decided just to pass there's no, like, a really soul at the top end that I have to be super, super scared of. Eclipse Dragon. 
of course, is uh, is still a really good one. So we're up one card, we're down four mana. We've had some good draw twos. We've killed two Shivanas. That's their only champion. I wouldn't mind finding our champion. Definitely see single combat <clears throat> happening here, but at least that's a single combat that's not killing Ezreal. Yep, so that's a single combat not killing Ezreal. Thermogenic Beam is just kind of difficult to... Oh, right, that thing heals itself. Right. Thermogenic Beam is just kind of a card that's like really difficult to get some good... to get good advantage of. What if we could just play this deck without playing Thermogenic Beam, <laughs> right? Because like that's it's so awkward playing Thermogenic Beam with like Glimpse Beyond and just with other cards, or just being a control deck in general with Thermogenic Beam. Yeah, exactly. That's that's basically it. I I don't like going to zero mana with a control deck. That's why I don't like Thermogenic Beam. But it's in our deck. So we're gonna play it. I'm worried about Static Shock not killing it because of Pale Cascade. What? Just have Astral Protection? What? All right, let's let's cut thermogenic beam after this game. If people are playing astral protection, how many thermogenic beams are in here? Three? That's the worst card in our deck, and there's three of them. Yeah, I'm not I'm not playing that card again after this game. We are going to be playing another vengeance, and we're going to be playing another unspeakable horror, and then I don't really care what else. Another grass the undying or withering whale. Never again will we fall to dragon fire. The infinite mind splitter is a problem. Which is why I can't really just play you know like kind of any of these other things right now cuz they just go like mind splitter and then then we're in a world of trouble. Yeah, I could see I could see playing a, a rekindler. But it looks like this opponent is playing a deck that's specifically designed to be... Like, the only reason to play Astral Protection in a Dragon deck is you specifically want to beat the card Ezreal. So that also makes sense that, like, we, whenever we play a deck, we play against an opponent that is specifically trying to beat us. There, there's honestly no other reason to play Astral Protection except for you only want to... Like, why, why else would you play the card besides Ezreal? Yeah, Clips Dragon's pretty awesome. I got ways to find me mushrooms. Oh, that's right, the first one was Daybreak. Never mind. Stop. 
RV. Alright, so that's our second ruination. No Ezreal yet. So we still have just as many cards in hand as I do. Okay, so we did make some changes. We took out the thermogenic beams. You know, as we talked about during that game, we did take out the thermogenic beams and we also took out one glimpse beyond. So with those that's four cards. And we added in one rummage to replace that glimpse beyond. So now we have two rummages. And then we put in one ofs of unspeakable horror to get us some, some extra card advantage also. And uh, replace the early removal from third thermogenic beam. And then a, another Vengeance for a larger removal spell. And finally, another Chump Wump, the third Chump Wump to go along with the. Look at Ezreal. To go along with the Rummage. Alright, I'm gonna keep these other two things. And I don't know about the Black Spear. Maybe I should be shipping a Black Spear. But I kind of feel like Black Spear could be good against Anivia. I pull the I'm not sure about that, though. We shall see. Okay. Well, I obviously See completely regret keeping the Black Spear now. So this matchup, I am giving my opponent these Mushroom Clouds because I want them to draw, like, you know, give, give them ample opportunity to draw them. Maybe they draw like 5 out of the 10 and they can do 5 damage. I will take that. If we draw a Rummage, I know I don't have those to Rummage away, but I, I, I will just Rummage these Ruinations that I don't want. See? Already working. Already working. Basically, I'm, I'm trying to think of what my line's going to be against the Nivea if they, if they play a Nivea. I'm doing this. Cool. Do I let them block my chump lump? I want to save Go Hard for um, Egnivia. I don't want to cast it on the on the Avaros and said tree. We could use a bite. You dare. Okay, so it worked out that we didn't um didn't let them block my chump pump. You're far from your flock, little bird. A bird of prey. Hunts alone. I guess it's vengeance. Rest in ice. For the homestead. I 
Drawing the Static Shock means that I have that for Agnivia's. I don't need Gohard as much. I'm going to, especially now that my jump was 4-2, I'm going to try to take away their blocker. All right, that's two damage from those puff caps. That damage can add up. There's three. People do not cast Mushroom Clouds nearly enough in Ezreal decks. That, that's one thing that I have noticed. That's that's one thing that I I do more than everyone else is I I cast Mushroom Clouds. I I like that damage. Okay, but sometimes the damage doesn't matter, right? I guess I guess those that damage doesn't matter because they just heal their nexus um, infinitely. Should I be playing Black Spear? No. Yeah, we need card. know how we ever beat the harrowing <sighs> yeah that's harrowing is gonna be a problem the oh my gosh Italian. they're going to 10 already oh right they have the catalyst of aeons I thought I had another turn. I forgot about that Catalyst of Aeons. They're going to 10. A wickedness reaches the horizon. So we can defeat this harrowing. Another harrowing, I'm not so sure about. So I can kill two eggs at least. Do with the static shock to draw a card. One more mana, of course, would have been really nice. A new era begins. Tomorrow we rise anew. This is why I don't understand how people play Ezreal decks. Like, how do you even defeat those things? Like, I'm not I'm not really sure how Ezreal's supposed to defeat Anivia's like that. There's a bunch of dragons and astral protections. Yeah, I like this hand. Like, you know, Ruination's just a, a really good quality card. And I like these Elises to start with and a Vile Feast to go along with it. Um, I think the Vile Feast is very good against Petty Officer, which is something that, you know, I don't want them to have like Petty Officer block Elise. And we can use 
Vile Feast to take down the 3 1. Okay, so we have an Ezreal. And if their Petty Officer gets a, a one health thing, then our Static Shot could take out both of them. Also just kind of stops the you know that like that really hinders their swain level up progress so it's probably worth it and by leading with the static shock we still got static shock value even afterwards and so that all worked out pretty well for me so we got two extra cards in hand than they do and we got two spiders in play and they have four less life and we have an extra mana so so far everything's gone well um, but, you know, now they just play Swain. Uh, good thing I didn't let them do the 6 damage thing for Swain. Guess I'm going with you. Come closer. I don't bite. Lie. It's a big place. Let's see all of it. Not leveled up yet. Stop bragging if you could back it up. So the Black Spirit does four and is actually turned on now, but I'm still gonna play the free spell. We'll see how that works out for me. Gotta go with the blow. So I have eight mana. I can see this being like a fervor. I don't want that to happen. Oh, y'all are saying that I should be passing here. But like, if I pass and they pass back, then what do I do? Right? Like, if they just go to my turn. Can't really attack with Ezreal at that point. Yeah, so there we go, the Black Spear doing the four damage, pretty nice. Maybe I should have gave them a mushroom cloud right there with that mana. Maybe I should have. I don't care about rummage value, I care about killing them. Care about winning the game. Not rummage value. We're we're down to like where we both have four cards, so like they've they've done a really good job catching up with these spray fins and everything. Ugh. Spray fins, Leviathan, stuff like that. I was hoping they would draw a puff cap. And there they did not. Come on, let's draw some puff caps. 
Let's us find Ezreal. Chump Lump's like our next best draw to Ezreal. Alright, go draw those. That's gotta have like eight puff caps. Just one. If I play Elise, I can't have all three of these things. That's why we need more ruinations. <laughs> God, we said that two ruinations is too many. Two is not enough. Our ruinations have been our best card that we've played in these games. We need more against the dragons. on my blocker. I know what lurks in the shadows. Battle station! What's your hurry? <sighs> Dark in the skies! Alright, I'll try giving them these mushroom clouds. Hope they draw five. Or does this this just happens before the draw anyway, so do, do I just die? Yeah, Leviathan just happens first. GG's. Our deck feels really bad. Right? Like, how, how does this deck beat anything? Okay, maybe we can win a game. We're playing against another Ezreal deck, so we'll, somebody has to win. So this is, this is how Ezreal can win a game. All right, so we made a change, and I'm updating the deck list right now. So basically, I want, I want a way to, like, actually win the game. And so, and I haven't really found, felt that, like, we have any way to win so far. And so basically what I'm doing is we are cutting... Maybe we should take out Mystic... Maybe I should have mulliganed Mystic Shot, actually. Yeah, I, I should have mulliganed Mystic Shot. Sorry. Anyway, I was kind of talking and not really thinking. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're putting in a second Ledros. To fear. As well as... And... Uh, yeah, I should have... I should have mulliganed this Mystic Shot. Uh, a second... Yeah, second Ledros as well as one Atrocity, because we can win some games with Ledros Atrocity. So that's our plan. That's what we're going to try to do. No, the gotcha. Oh, no, no, no. Why did I pass? I was trying to. I'm sorry. I was just starting to answer your question, and I just clicked the pass. Man, this is just. It's quite a day. All right. Um, no, the gotcha is perfect. Gotcha kills both both champions. Gotcha was like the the best card in my hand. We're not we're not mulliganing the gotcha. So I should have a spiderling. Ugh. No, I like I like Elise more than get excited for burn just in the deck in general. I don't really like get excited in this deck. I don't think that uh, we necessarily want to discard cards that much. When you have other good three damage sources with grasp and. Um, Gotcha. I don't think that 
We need... I guess I'm just casting. Yeah, let's just cast Grasp. I, don't think, I really don't think that we need Get Excited. I could definitely be talked into playing... Yeah, like... I don't like this Black Spear. I could definitely be talked into playing... It's not bragging if you could back it up. Um, playing Puffcat Peddler instead of Elise. We could definitely be... Like, I, I feel like that's some, some way that we can win, right? Like, Puffcat Peddler and Chump Wump and a control deck giving them a bunch more Puffcaps. And then also have, like, Ledros Atrocity and, like, Ezreal. The bonus... The bonus Ezreal damage and the Puffcaps, like... Like, I feel like that's that's definitely a way we could win. All right, so basically, we, we were behind on mana. So I just took the pass with us being behind on mana. So that's Teemo control? Yeah, but you don't, you don't have to play Teemo. Or you could. But I'd probably be more confident in winning with, with that. When you can play... Oh, right. Other people play Thermogenic Beam. You can play Teemo and Ezreal. You can play two champions. So it's not like you had to not play Teemo because you have Ezreal. Oh my gosh. My opponent gets to play Ez gets to play Ledros? I even have two Ledroses in here. You get a Ledros? I want a Ledros. That's a... Yeah, I would not assume that Ezreal is going to plague the meta. I would not assume that. At all. One shot, all skill. I guess it's free Mystic Shant. Kind of want to play the two Mushroom Clouds and get them the Puff Caps, but I guess it's just free Mystic Shant. I just cast a regular Mystic Shot. I was debating, I had two regular Mystic Shots in hand, debating on, um, you know, whether to do the three damage of that Mystic Shot or save it for Rummage. Kind of the problem with the pack your bags card though right like it, the go hard card you just you just end up with a bunch of go hards in your deck that you don't really want to draw drain two hurts pretty bad
They're not doing a very good job drawing puff caps. Thank you. We're dead now to a mystic shot, but there's not, not really a whole lot I could do about that. You draw more of those. There's nothing to fear. Two damage. Down to five. Give me a weapon, I'll give it firepower. I'm surprised they played that instead of Ledros. Ugh, they drew zero. All right, let's create Doom Beast. Here it is, Doom Beast. Here we go. Let's... No, Stygian you know, Onlooker, you can kind of block. Their Ezreal deck probably has no way to kill a one health thing, right? Hmm. Guess they did. Man, we had a chance. And they only drew one fourth of the puff caps through all that time. So yeah, GG's, I'm. I like how we sequence and everything, but Ledros is a way to win. They had that. I had no way to win. And so we lost. Like House Spider? I can't really think of why one damage things would be good. A Ledros. Maybe we have a chance. We ha we actually we have a card that can actually win a game. I wish I would have kept that atrocity. So I still have Gotcha available for Ezreal. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to play the Glimpse Beyond or not. Right there. Probably not, because they probably respond with the removal spell. Yeah, I guess I didn't really have to block there. It's like the same amount of damage whether or not I block. Or like if I if I take one that turn and then like this turn, maybe I one one would kill the two one, then then you know we take another one from the one one. Like we take multiple damage from that one one, just like we're gonna take multiple damage from the house fighter. But the good part about getting our units out of play is it you know, it's stuff they can't target with Ezreal whenever they're dead. So that's something. I also kind of thought that by now I'd find something that would do one damage. The world's a big place. Let's see all. Of it. No way. Yeah, we're, we're wasting mana and losing HP, but not that much HP. And we are getting closer to playing Ledros and killing them. I'm going 
And, you know, considering that we could play a Grasp and Dying and basically get that HP back. Yeah, I had Vengeance, but might as well spend two extra mana with the Ruination and just get rid of that 2-1 and get Ruination out of my hand. Um, yeah, I kind of want to cast the Ruinations before I play, like, these 4-3s and stuff like that. Like, I thought that was a good place to play Ruination. It's not bragging if you can back it up. So none of those things can block a Fearsome Ledros. I had that unspeakable horror. I did forget about the Ledros going back to my hand as far as like whenever I was counting, I was like, all right, we have seven, we draw two, and then we'll draw our one for turn. But right, the Ledros going back to our hand changes that a little bit. So we're at three out of six for ours. They're at one out of six for theirs. So now we're at four. Static Shock will be 5 and 6. I think this is their second Ezreal dead, correct? Didn't we kill... Yeah, we used a gotcha on an Ezreal earlier, right? So we've killed two... Two Ezreals and one Leviathan. So far... That's leveled up Ezreal. Ran Danny! Hey man. Great to, great to see you again. Okay, so they're at 10. Maybe I should wait a little bit on the Cezreal. Maybe I should wait a tad. But we gotta have faith that we're gonna find another Ezreal. We're at seven. Seven's not too bad. As far as killing them is concerned. Well, another Leviathan was the worst case scenario. Fire! By my hand, the Noxus drives. Grand General. Nope. So eighteen cards left. Give them this before they draw with Static Shock. Hopefully we can give them two of those Puff Caps. No, so that's their second Swain. So we've killed two Ezreals, we've killed two Swains, and we've killed two Leviathans. We've killed two of each now. And we still have this Vengeance.
This is my second Ezreal Swain deck today. So they are up three mana on me, and they want to go to the next turn. Going to the next turn is just good for me with these puff caps. So we'll just take it. Well, I played the mushroom and then passed, so I had so I had the opportunity to do, you know, so I had you know more opportunity over the game. Um, I don't really see how just passing is bad for me. When they have ten puff caps. All right, we both now have a filled hand. Yeah. But now, like, they don't have the attack token. Like, last turn, if I would have played, like, Ledros and they, like, kill it somehow and then play, you know, like, Leviathan or Swain that, like, hits me for a bunch. Um, you know, yeah, or stun it. I would have had to worry about that, but, you know, now with me having the attack token, it's a little safer. I don't think they have any Nexus healing, so I think, you know, like, we're pretty good here. I think. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know why we're doing the deep thing. Um, sometimes you have that if you have a... I do have, like, a quest to go deep, but I don't think I have a quest to go deep. Not one that I know of. In any case, let's throw this Mystic Shot at them. So we can get our win by Puff Cap. Win by Puff Cap. Yay. Alright, we finally drew a card that can win the game. Ledros. And we won the game. No coincidence there. Okay, got some LP back. So yeah, this deck definitely feels like a struggle. The Ruinations were great for us. Um, that was definitely one of the best parts of our deck, being able to, yeah, Ruination was was really, really good. And of course, I like I like Chump Womp and I like giving them Mushroom Clouds. I think that that's something that's pretty strong. A lot of other people like to rummage away Mushroom Clouds, which we did rummage away too, but I also like giving those to my opponent. And... Uh, yeah, we had we had one of our you know we put in two Ledros by the end of this, and we had one of our two Ledros that last game. That's that's a card that can win. We didn't do a very good job of having our win conditions in the late game. You know, having Ezreal, having Ledros. Um, I, d I don't like how Ezreal's basically by itself with this deck. I think you got to give Ezreal more help than just it being by itself. The Ezreal Swain deck, you know, has Swain and Leviathan. It has that. Uh, you know, that going for it to try to give Ezreal some help. It's Elise is a great two drop, so it's not like Elise is bad, but Elise is, doesn't like, you know, it doesn't like close games out, right? It doesn't win games. It's just a really good early card, but it's not that hard to find really good two drops. So that's why maybe even just playing, like maybe playing this deck with just playing Puff Cat Peddler instead of Elise and then playing Teemo's in here um, and just going with Puff Caps and Ezreal and Ledros. Um, you know, like a spooky Teemo deck, Teemo Ezreal. Uh, wouldn't mind doing something like that. Um, yeah, Go Hard, Go Hard looks pretty bad. This card did not look very good. It, it's, you know, yeah, we, we didn't get to pack your bags. That seems like a pipe dream, getting to pack your bags. Um, but just one mana drain one. That's not very exciting. You know, like people don't just play Blades Edge, right? Like, it's, you know, it's it's just worse. I guess not necessarily worse because you get to heal one, but you know it's very similar to, to Blade's Edge, but you know, but slow speed, and also you can't hit the Nexus. And then the problem is, it's like it's like Blade's Edge plus once you play Blade's Edge, put two more Blade's Edges in your deck, so then you then you're like drawing another Blade's Edge, but you don't really want to, <laughs> right? So like, yeah, not not very impressed with this Go Hard card. If if you can have a ton of card draw and rifle through your deck. Now we're talking, but we don't really have that with these regions. Um, we have a little bit of card draw, but not nearly enough to be able to reliably find four copies of Go Hard every game. Like that's, 
you know, we, we're just not doing that. So I could see Gohard being Teemo. And, and like, you know, with, with Shadow Hearts, you already have Unspeakable Horror and Vile Feast. Like, that's probably good enough. Probably don't need these go Gohards. So, like, Gohard be Teemo and Elise. Elise was one of our best cards. So, like, Elise wasn't bad at all. But, you know, you can only have two champions. But Elise wasn't bad. But I, I do kind of feel like Puffcap Peddler is really underrated. If I can ever find the card, there it is. I do like that card quite a bit. So that's that's definitely an option of uh, switching that up. And and uh, then, you know, turn one, turn two, kind of save your spell mana, play your Peddler, then then your Vile Feast or Black Spear, or, or I guess not Black Spear, sorry, your Vile Feast or Unspeakable Horror or Mystic Shot. You know, you play these things afterwards. Yeah, and that's the other thing. If, if you don't really want Teemo, you don't necessarily need to play Teemo to play Peddler, right? Like, you can still play Elise and still do, like, the cool stuff that Elise does, but just play Puff Cat Peddler in here and uh, have another way to just, you know, give the opponent another, you know, 15, 20 Puff Caps. Have them take a few extra damage, and that that kind of stuff adds up. And, you know, that you know they're more distracted again by your Peddler and that kind of stuff. Anyway, that's, uh, that's Spooky Ezreal. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube... Uh, hit that like button and feel free to leave all those comments about Ezreal, um, any suggestions or anything. I just have no uh, confidence playing an Ezreal deck or winning with Ezreal. I just don't... Even like, you know, the new Ezreal, super easy to have leveled up, but myself, I don't really have any, uh, any confidence in winning with the card. Alright, but anyway, uh, that's it for Spooky Ezreal. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.